I think company wikis are super important. They should really serve three main goals. It should be easy to search, it should be easy to access, and it should be easy to share all of your information. So with these things in mind, let's take a look at a Coda template that I've created that solves all three of these issues. So welcome to the Essential Company Wiki. You'll notice it looks pretty simple. We have four pages with three major sections. We have our quick links, we have docs, and then the FAQ section. Starting off with our quick links, this sounds pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much any link that you have within your company, something that's frequently accessed, put in here. You can categorize by different topics, or you can use something like departments. This is especially useful for new hires as they're coming on. For example, say you had a section on onboarding. So any links that a new hire or someone that was recently onboarded needs, whether it's clock in, clock out, taking time off, all of those links, they could be categorized here and it's super simple to access. You can click on copy link if you're looking to share it and copy it to your clipboard, or you can open the link here and that'll open the link directly within your browser. If you click on it, you'll have access to all of the metadata within the link. And if you wanna edit it, go ahead and click this little pencil icon and you have access to edit whatever you need to. Next, let's move into the docs section. So the docs section will hold all of your more in-depth tutorials or SOPs. Whether it's how-to guides or just a lot of general information, I would store them all within this docs page. You'll see we have our categories here at the top. Again, you can structure these categories however makes sense, whether you want it to be by department or just by general topic. And we can filter below to show all the documents within this topic. Say we wanted to open one of these documents, we'll just click in and we'll see all of its contents right away. What I've seen a lot of people do that seems to be effective is they'll have a video embedded at the top, which you can do here, whether it's a YouTube video or something from Vimeo or something in-house, whatever it is, you can upload it. What I've seen people do is they'll transcribe the video and put the transcript below the video. And what's cool is when you have a transcription, you can run it through something like ChatGPT or Coda AI or really whatever AI software you want to make a good summary of it. And the reason you wanna still have some text in addition to the video is for search capabilities. So let's actually take a look at the search now. Say there was a specific word or topic that we wanted to search, but we don't know where within this section to find it. Let's say I'm gonna search the word risk just because we know this document has risk in it. Cool, so we'll see all of the relevant resources that contain this keyword. And you'll see they're all highlighted here as well and that goes for the title as well. This will filter all of your resources within this section and give you all the relevant ones that you're looking for. The third section that we have is the FAQ section. This is really a place to store quick questions and quick answers. You'll see below, we have a format that's a little bit different than all the other views. So we're not actually using a table view here. Uh, this is a formula that we're using to concatenate uh, different parts of the text and relevant entries and display them here. And the reason I have it this way is so you can see the full answer without needing to click into anything. Say for example, I had a question about emails. I'll just type in email and we'll get all of the answers that are relevant to anything related to email right away. We don't need to click into anything to actually see the answer. So it's super powerful into actually finding information and data super quickly. Just like before, we can filter with the different categories and you can make these categories however you see fit, whether these are departments or whether these are specific topics. One cool thing about this template is all of this sample data will be included. So if you decide to get this template, um, I encourage you to keep the sample data in. That way you can see a reference of how things are structured. And then whenever you start putting your own sample data in, uh, there's a button that will one click clear all of the sample data to make it an easy clean slate for you. So there's one more page that we still have. It's not anything new, but it is the home page and it includes the global search. So I'm gonna clear this and say, for example, we had something in mind, but we didn't know where to look for it. And we don't wanna look in three different sections to find the answer to one little thing, right? Let's say I have a question about the company's VPN. So I'm gonna type in VPN and we'll see all of the matches, whether it's in FAQs, whether it's in the docs, or if it's a quick link, I'll just find the answer no matter what. So this search box here essentially searches all three of these sections and gives you the results all right below. And this specific text box becomes super powerful when trying to access the document. There's a feature within Coda called Sync Pages, which allows you to sync the entire doc 
into a completely different document. And so I want you to imagine, imagine each of your departments has a different doc that they work in, right? And so trying to get the information across to everyone, one thing they could do is you have the document in your workspace and they navigate outside of their department document to find the documentation, but we can do something really cool. All right, so I'm in a completely different document here. Imagine this was a different department within your company. We're gonna add a new sync page. We're gonna browse our docs and we're gonna find the essential company wiki. And then we're gonna click on this homepage here, the company wiki. We're gonna include the sub pages. Perfect. And so you'll see the entire document that we've just been browsing through. All of it is within our different document. And so now you can imagine if you have 10 different departments in your company, no longer will they have to navigate away or outside of their workspace. They have it directly within their workspace. They can be going through all of their tasks. And if they ever have a question, something company related, they can quickly go into the company wiki, search whatever their question was, and find a quick answer to it. So like I mentioned before, if you're interested in this company wiki, there's a link down below that will take you directly to the page that will help you find it. Before this video ends, I quickly wanna go over the difference between using pages and the way that we've done it, which is using tables and databases, whatever you call them. I would recommend staying away from pages. There's several benefits to using tables, stuff like having structured data, or if you ever wanna perform operations on all of the documentation that you've created, it's gonna be super easy to do it with tables but nearly impossible to do it if you use pages. And say if you ever wanted to export any of your information into a completely different program, it's easy with tables because you can export as CSV and then import it into whatever program you want. Whereas with pages, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. You're gonna be stuck to some copying and pasting. And that's not to mention the Coda 4.0 update, which means anyone that wants to create or manage a page, whether it's like renaming the page or creating a, a new blank page or duplicating one, they need to be a paying member with pages. And so if you have a database view, they can create as many entries as they want. They can rename them, um, pretty much fully manage them without needing to be a paid member. Again, there's a link in the description that will help you find this template. And I encourage you to customize it if you end up getting it. Um, that's the beauty with Coda is being able to customize it to really suit your workplace. And if you need extensive customizations, I also have a link that will be under this template link that will allow you to submit a custom request for any modifications to this template or to any other templates or workspaces that you're trying to modify within Coda. But that's about it. Thanks for watching.